In the next few minutes, we're going to show you how to make a Christmas wreath by using deco mesh, deco flex tubing, and a work wreath form. For this wreath, you'll need a red work wreath form with pre-attached tinsel wire tips, wide deco mesh in deluxe red lime and gold stripes, 4-inch wide deco ribbon in metallic moss lime, deco flex tubing in green, and several gold wire balls for color accents. Your first step is to bunch the wide deco mesh into one hand. Place the bunched mesh into a set of tinsel covered wire ties on the inner ring. Twist the ties firmly to secure the mesh. To form a puff, gather about a 9 inch length of mesh. Don't just grab it, but rather fold evenly as you gather. This makes fuller looking puffs that aren't wadded up. Pull and fluff the mesh out, and then secure the bunch mesh into the next set of tinsel wire ties on the inner ring, twisting the ties firmly. Continue around the entire inner ring, forming puffs and securing them into each wire tie. Once you have filled the inner ring, move down to the outer ring and continue filling in the work wreath all the way around, bunching, fluffing, and attaching the mesh. Trim the mesh when you reach the end. Next, make a bow out of the 4 inch mesh ribbon for a green accent. Form a loop at the end of the ribbon and bunch into one hand. Twist once. Form another loop and gather it into your hand and repeat three more times to make the bow. Leave about a 3 foot long tail of ribbon. Cut another length of ribbon that is twice the length of the tail. Bring the middle of the ribbon to your hand to form two more tails for the bow. Attach the bow with its tails to a set of tinsel wire ties on the inner ring, making sure that the ties go through the loop to secure the bunch you've been holding. Attach the loose tails to the wreath by bunching a section of the ribbon one third of the way down, securing it into a set of wire ties. Attach another part of the same tail to the wreath. Leave the last third of the tail hanging out from the bottom of the wreath. Spread the other two tails out across the wreath. Place one to the left, one near the center, and the other to the right, spaced apart. Our next step is to add the green DecoFlex tubing. Make a loop at the end and hold it in one hand. Make another loop and bring it to that hand. Attach the bow to a set of wire ties, twisting several times to secure. Form another bow a length down the ribbon and attach to a different set of wire ties. Continue around the entire wreath, using your judgment when placing the DecoFlex bows. DecoFlex tubing is made of the same material as deco mesh and comes in coordinating colors. Trim the tubing when you filled in the wreath. For our gold accent color, we're using decorative wire balls. It helps to first open up a section of the wire ball, making it easier to thread the wire tie through to attach it to the wreath. Twist the wire tie firmly to secure. Place several more wire balls around the wreath. Use wire ties on both the inner and outer ring. For more decorating ideas and tutorials, or to purchase the products you've seen here, visit us at MardiGrasOutlet.com.